Welcome to Possibility in Action, a podcast where we broaden perspective and empower ourselves in five minutes or less. Awareness is a key to living life intentionally. And here, I'm going to offer you ideas and concepts to reflect upon, to interrupt habitual thinking, so you can go out and live as Possibility in Action. I'm your host, Robert Party. Now let's get started. Hey there. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a concept I use about how I live my life. And I'll explain how I came up with the term, but I call it chasing life. And what I mean by chasing life is living a purposeful life while appreciating every moment, understanding it is all going to end one day. We are confronted every day with impermanence which is a core concept in many Eastern philosophies, many Eastern religions. And basically that means that everything passes in its time. Think of a beautiful flowering tree, cherry blossoms. It has its season. And if it wasn't for impermanence, we couldn't grow. You listening to this, you are not permanent. You are different than you were yesterday. You were different than you were a year ago, a few years ago, and you will be different tomorrow. Impermanence allows growth. Impermanence allows change. And what I mean by chasing life is that my life experiences have shown me that we should never be afraid to chase our dreams. We should never be afraid to leave our mark, nor should we be afraid to take chances because the honest truth is We are not meant to get out of life alive. We are meant to live it to its utmost with passion and purpose. And life should never feel like an obligation, but an opportunity to to know ourselves, to share ourselves, to share our unique gifts, even if just with one person. That concept of know thyself has been around for thousands of years. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt, that it is one of the fundamental building blocks of a good life. Now, where did I come up with the idea chasing life? It comes from having watched my wife soar to become the medical director of palliative care at New York Weill Cornell Medical Center, all the while knowing she was destined to live a much shorter life than most people. I watched her chase life. I watched her chase her dreams. And her example inspired me to redesign my life after she passed away. And it was that concept of chasing life that motivated me to leave a very stable career to become a life coach. Because at the end of the day, it's not how long we live, but how well we live, what we do with our lives and what signature we leave on this world. So my wish for each of you is to chase life leaving your unique positive signature in your wake. Now, I hope you found that inspirational and that I'll see you again on the next podcast. But for now, go out, chase life, and be Possibility in Action. Thank you for listening to Possibility in Action. And if you liked this podcast, I suggest going to my website, robertpardi.com and checking out some of the other things that I offer. And if you are interested in taking a big step, why not join me at one of my Possibility in Action retreats in Italy? Until next time, ciao.